Guys, Spartan 765. Um, here I'm doing a review on a rifle I got several months ago. Um, have done a review on it because it's kind of a piece of shit. Um, and that is this Egyptian Hakim rifle. Right here. Now you're saying, oh, well, that's a, not a piece of shit. That's one of the most accurate self-loaders there is. True, um, if you're looking at like a... Uh, this is based off the Swedish AG-42B, which is a phenomenal rifle. Great rifle. And the Egyptian Hakim rifles that are in good shape with a good barrel are great rifles. The only downside is um, they kind of gas you in the face. Whether it's an, a Swedish one or an Egyptian one, they gas you in the face every time you pull the trigger. Because if you look here, there's the gas port. It's literally the true definition of direct impingement. Literally impacts right in the gas, right on the bolt, and it blows gas in your face. Uh, well, you got the Swedish bit or the Egyptian one. Um, now, the only thing I really don't like about this rifle, and the, well, other than the gas in the face, is that I bought this from a buddy um, for $200. And it was a trade. Or no, I didn't buy it for $200. He paid me, I, I traded him an AR, um, a DPMS Oracle, for valued at $400 when I, that's what I paid for it. Um, and then he gave me this plus $200. So in all reality, I bought this rifle for $200, which really isn't a bad deal. Um, why haven't I gone back on the deal? Because uh, he's a buddy and he needed an AR for uh, home protection. Um, but anyway, so, the downsides of this particular gun is that the barrel is a sewer pipe, the chamber is pitted, and about half the time it won't uh, extract rounds, which sucks. Um, another kind of unique thing I guess I'm going to point out about this rifle is the, uh, it's got a 10 round detachable box mag, I said it, obviously 8mm Mauser, is the bolt. You slide the dust cover forward, pull the dust cover back. And when it gets all the way back, it drops the bolt. Now, if you're trying to load stripper clips into this and you don't have the safety on, which is right here, you're going to fucking get something similar to M1 Grand Thumb, except way worse. Um, yeah, so other than the operating system, it's... You know, if the gun had a perfect barrel and a good chamber and shot well... I wouldn't be complaining. I'd be very happy with this gun, with the exception, you know, obviously that it gasses you in the face, but that's what safety glasses are for. It's um, pretty much one of the first widely adopted direct impingement rifles ever made. So naturally, it's going to have one or two things that aren't perfect with it, but I mean, you know, like I said, the gun looks really cool. I mean... When you put the 10 round mag, I mean, the thing looks really, really, really cool. Um, but again, I just don't like this thing because the barrel's a shit pipe. It does about six inch, no, uh, about eight inches at 100 meters on its best. And uh, yeah, it uh, half the time will not extract rounds because the chamber is so fucking pitted that the rounds stick in the chamber until they cool down, and then you have to slam the bolt forward and then try and rip the round out of the chamber. But anyway, that's my short little brief review on this particular Hakeem rifle.